And there's a scene on the opposite side of the ledger. Mark Micken can't believe it. They were minor premiers last season. He's taken them to an even better season this year as minor premier. And they have been out by a sum total of seven points. They are out of the finals. A two-point loss to Central's last week and a five-point loss to Sturt this afternoon. And Jade Sheedy, one of the absolute superstars of this competition, Luke Norman, great story for him. They get home in an absolute thriller. What a match. Huge match, and uh, those boys will be devastated, just like their coach, going out in straight sets. You felt, even halfway through that game, that Glenelg were just going to pick it up a notch or two late in the game and overrun Sturt. But great fighting qualities by the Sturt Footy Club, certainly making their fans happy. You can see there Toby Thurston's on screen. Magnificent effort to come back after that kneecap popping out, dislocation. Plenty of happy fans there, and uh, it's just a great result for the Sturt Football Club. Remembering that it breaks a nine-game losing streak that they had against the Bays. Last season in the preliminary final, they were thumped by 11 goals. This afternoon, much closer. It didn't start that way. They didn't score until the second turn. Now, amazing that they had a very poor first quarter. It will be interesting if we can ask the coach what actually happened at quarter time and how he addressed them, because they did start very poor. You can see here, Glenelg capitalised early. Paul Adlington got on the scoreboard early. A nice result. Pinozzo taking on some of the third players. Jeremy Johncock. Kurt B didn't have as good game as he did last week. Fisher was important throughout the course of the day. He snapped there truly. But it was the play of that kid there, Jack Trengove, throughout the game that I believe won him the game. He was superb in the last quarter and that very, very important mark late in the game. So was that guy there, Sheedy. Magnificent pushing forward in the second quarter there. He's finished with three goals. Bunnell, well, they just missed opportunities in front of goal. Not enough of that kicking. They had 20 scoring shots to Sturt 15 and just didn't capitalise. Having said that, Sturt took every opportunity. Number one stat, I think, across the game, across the minor round, the worst team in front of goals in the SANFL at 50% accuracy, Glenelg has so many opportunities and can't close it out. Spot on. You do so much enormous hard work up the ground. Teammates bust their backside to get the ball forward. It's your responsibility if you're having a set shot or a shot on the run to kick the goal. And unfortunately for the, for, for the Glenelg players, they just didn't do it often enough. Rocky McGregor kicking a very valuable goal there. Beautiful work. John Cox reactions here, fantastic. Lost control of the ball and just put a foot into it for the goal. Here's another one for you. Glenelg this season beaten Sturt by 24 points, 42 points and 33 points and received all the McGarry votes in those three matches. Counted for naught, I know, this afternoon. But it just showed that they did have that level of dominance and were very confident going into this game. And that man, Matty Yench, stepping up. And that was the winning goal. There's no doubt he was fantastic throughout the day. And so was Code. He was super important, as you can see there. Well, Sturt did all of the hard work after quarter time. You can see there, 15 point, one point, seven point, and then winning by five points. Well, nine goals to five after quarter time, if you look at that. They just had a very slow start. And as we look through there too, you might look at the Tigers, single goals, all of them, and say, where were their key forwards this afternoon? On the other hand, Sturt found a, a forward, if not a key forward, in Matty Inch. Jade Sheedy popped up with certainly one of the marks of the day in the pack right at full forward. And Michael Code very important to them as well. Well, if you have a look at the statistics, quite amazingly, Glenelg have had 55 inside 50s and haven't won the game. On the flip side, if you have a look at Sturt, only 32 inside 50s, but they were efficient when they went inside 50s. Quarter time, that was obviously addressed. You can see there they started winning the ball around the ground, around the stoppages and you can see there the statistics definitely in favour of Sturt in, in relation to possession. Double Blues into the rooms, into the rehab. They have seven days. Into the snakes. Into the snakes. They have seven days to prepare for what a lot of them will know all about. 
from having played in the prelim in the grand final last season in reserves. A lot of young players in that side. Jade Sheedy, Ben Nelson, and a few others. Toby Thurston's all played, of course, in that 0-2 premiership. They'll have great memories of that day when they upset Central District, having lost to them, I think it was five times during the season and the finals. In fact, it would have been three times, four times during the season, I think it was. And then on the fifth occasion, they won as they did over Glenelg this afternoon. Having a great day. Jeremy John Cox certainly enjoyed his day, as did, as did Yench. Very excited. Some words for the skipper there uh, yes. from Matty Yench, speaking to Jade Sheedy. Sun setting. Wonderful scene at Footy Park. We were very lucky with the weather. There were predictions that it might have been a bit adverse this afternoon, but it didn't turn out too badly. As we mentioned about Jade Sheedy, he's been given our goal of the day. Not only that, he was close to player of the day. 30 possessions, eight marks, two goals. Did absolutely everything he could to help Sturt to the win. He was fantastic. We see a lot, of, a lot of him in the midfield and pushing back. But today we see, we saw him step up, position himself up the ground. Basically went to full forward, and in that second quarter, he was the spark and kicked two goals. Had an opportunity to score another one. Fantastic effort, Jay Sheedy. We keep going through his stats. We mentioned the 30 possessions, a couple of goals, the second of those we just saw there. And just quietly eight marks as well, one of which was also our mark <laughs> of the day. Well, you can see here, he's not renowned for his pack marking. I've seen him take a big mark once or twice in his career. But on that occasion there, he just saddled up to the side of the pack Got a bit of a lift from his teammate in code there and took a beautiful pack mark and went back and finished with a pretty easy goal. The old legs still have a bit yes. of lift in them. There's no doubt about that. Well, 